Tonight, Battleground Melbourne. Opposing groups clash outside court as members of an ultra-right-wing organisation face charges of inciting hatred. A man shot in the head as he sat in his car, targeted after leaving a Father's Day lunch. The gunman is still on the run. Teetering on the brink, North Korea's latest nuclear test triggers tensions as South Korea launches a counter-attack. And could this be the end of the Logies? After 30 years, Melbourne surrenders. Television's Night of Nights. This is 10 Eyewitness News. First at five with Stephen Quartermain. Good evening. The streets outside Melbourne Magistrates Court turned into a battlefield today as members of a far-right group clash with anti-racism protesters. The wild scenes came as three self-styled leaders of the United Patriots Front face court. They're accused of inciting hatred against Muslims after filming a mock beheading. Candace White has the story. This was never going to be peaceful. Ahead in 10 Eyewitness News. The horrific moment hot fuel sprayed over a crowd at a drag racing event. And the struggle against the biggest fire to ever threaten Los Angeles. You're watching 10 Eyewitness News. Primary school children are being taught about the dangers of the digital age to ensure they're social media savvy. The eSmart program aims to show kids how to stay safe online. But as Joe Hill reports, there's also an important lesson for parents. The good news is these kids aren't on social media yet. Here's Brad with Sport. How'd you say, Snow? Strumpf! <laughs> That's very good. Thank you. Better than philanthropist. <laughs> well done, Stephen. <laughs> well, Kelly, out, Patrick Dangerfield hoping for a double celebration against the Tigers. Also, a couple of AFL luminaries earn a grand final call-up. We'll watch the Socceroos train and talk about spinning a good yarn. Nathan Lyon rips through Bangladesh in the second test. Good evening. Geelong champion Patrick Dangerfield is preparing for what he hopes is the most fulfilling month of his career. The Brownlow medalist is desperate to become a premiership player. And as Rob Waters reports, the Cats blockbuster finals opener coincides with his 200th AFL game. Patrick Dangerfield loves to entertain, but in finals mode was all business. Right of the day. Mark Leishman has a share of the lead heading into the final day. What's frustrating, he can putt better with a Three on the weekend with yeah, a putter. That's very true. Thanks, Brad. See you Thank tomorrow. You. Mike is back after the break with the students from St. Columbus College in Essendon. Welcome back. Melbourne has been misbehaving today. To tell us all about it, here's Mike. Yeah, that's right, Stephen. Good evening. It's been a chilly old day today. As I mentioned before, nine this morning in Melbourne, back on nine right now. But it has uh, yeah, been, well, wet and there has been snow. There has been, I know, better than 14 degrees for about three seconds. Then if you were looking outside the playground, back on nine degrees with that icy west, so westerly blowing at about 25 kilometres per hour. That's why we're nice and warm inside. Around town today, have a look at Mount Dandenong. You wouldn't want to be there today up in the ranges. It was freezing and we've got snow down to low levels overnight. OK, let's have a look at some of our maps right now. Across our state. I see everywhere bar the east. It's your turn tonight. Uh, did actually make it at 19 degrees at Malakuta in the west. Temperatures 4 to 7 below the September norm. Around the country just 10 degrees in Hobart uh, with rain and snow in some suburbs. It's 5 there now. The chance of vigorous westerly brought the rain, the hail and on Hogan Island winds of 128 k's. The rainfall chart we have a week of wintry weather. Today up to 15 mils still on the Otways overnight up to 30 also on the Otways. Interstate sunny but windy and 19 in Sydney and a Logie Award winning 27 degree day in Brisbane and the Gold Coast. Across our state, uh, more showers, more hail, more snow, but more cold, squally winds. Uh, the radar showers, con showers continue to pop up from the southwest. A gale warning along the coast and bays tomorrow. Around Melbourne, remain rugged up, mostly 12s, and on the bays, westerlies at 25 to 35 knots. And now for Melbourne, home to great colleges like St Columbus in Essendon. Showers will continue tonight and tomorrow, falling as snow in the Dandenongs overnight. Now on a Wednesday, again, 13 degrees, uh, 7 to 13 with a few showers, and then it's 15 
15 and oh, just 12, 12 and 14. So that is the forecast. Thank you, ladies. Good luck with your project and uh, have a wonderful night. Stay warm. Stephen. Thank you, Mike. And that is 10 Eyewitness News for Monday on behalf of the team.